everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day, all the Vera at Dad's video. Um, <laughs> it, I'm back in New York City visiting my dad. It's my hometown. I'm in his apartment where there is no air conditioning and it is hot as all get out. Um, <laughs> so I got the fan going. Hopefully you can't hear that. Um, trying to keep cool. That's why I'm, I'm wearing as little clothing as possible to still keep this G-rated. Because <laughs> it is just uh, hot in here. Hence the crazy, frizzy hair. <laughs> it's the humidity. Um, okay, so it's been a while since I've done a video because I've been so crazy with work. And the last time I came here to visit was Father's Day and I, I did have time to do a video but I didn't want, you know, I wanted to spend time with my dad and so I, I couldn't really get motivated to do the video but I'm, I, I have time now so I'm going to try to knock this out and um, I have some stuff I haven't traveled with before uh, so hopefully it'll be interesting. I, I try something new because um, usually when I'm traveling, well I had to bring work this time but usually when I'm traveling it's a challenge to figure out what I'm going to but my clothing is not the problem, it's all the other stuff I need to bring, especially my computer and any work stuff, and, I, and it doesn't, uh, it's not all fitting in the Vera tote, although I love the Vera tote for like the bag I take in the car. I still, there's overflow and I, I'm, it's always a challenge to try to figure out what else to take. Um, and so uh, this is a new uh, bag for me. Uh, not a new style, and I, it's worked out. I tried this instead of the Vera tote. That took all my willpower not to bring a Vera tote. <laughs> People probably know if they watch my videos, I like the Vera tote. Uh, but it seems to have worked out. So this is the um, Deluxe Weekender, and I got this from Zulily, so it was a good price, plus you can pay it off in installments. And this is Cloud Vine. The pattern is Cloud Vine, which people probably know has been retired for a while. Um, and it's funny because when this pattern first came out, I had no interest. I just thought it's too minty looking for me. I don't know. I, and I like blues and greens. I love those that color family. So I, I don't know why I was having this resistance to it, but I was, and I didn't really pay attention to it um, until recently when they started introducing the uh, recycled cotton and they made changes to the Vera tote and I, uh, that I'm not crazy about and so um, which I've talked about in another video um, and so I felt like well, let me go back and reconsider maybe some of the past patterns that are still in the regular cotton that I might not have um, really paid attention to in case maybe I want to get one before one or two before it's hard really hard to get them and so I found the cloud uh, vine Vera in a recent online outlet sale and decided to try it and I just love it and I fell in love with it I've been using it more than any other pattern since I got it just can't get out of my system right now <laughs> it's very good for summer right it's very crisp and very summery and fresh and so when I saw this in the pattern, I thought, and it was such a good price, I thought, well, let me give this a shot. Um, and so it worked out really well because I've got everything that's not clothing related, except my toiletries, in here. And I put this on the passenger seat next to me in the car like I would put my Vera tote, and it worked really well for me. So this is where the bulk of the Vera is, but um, so I'll start with this. Again, I'm not keeping a count. <laughs> I should keep a count. So the thing that I really like about the Deluxe Weekender, um, just in theory, I mean, this is my first Weekender, um, was the channel stitching. It's very heavy. I don't know if I'll be able to get, try to get up close. I don't know if you can see it in there. You can sort of see it in there in the side light. It's got the channel stitching rather than the square quilting or the diamond quilting. And um, that just changes the way the fabric feels and moves, and it just is a nice, it's a nice variety, you know, you get a little tired of always the same pattern in the quilt stitching. So that appeals to me about this particular Weekender. So the Weekender on one side, I'll just, before, I'll, uh, if I don't mention it now, I'll forget, I'm sure. But on the back, 
It's got a trolley sleeve that, it has the feature that I like on a trolley sleeve. It should be there by default on every trolley sleeve. There's a zipper on the bottom. So this trolley sleeve also functions as a pocket. So that's great. And then these two sections here are just pockets. There's no zipper on the bottom, but they're handy slip pockets. There's also a slip pocket on one side here. And loops, metal loops for a strap. There's a, an adjustable shoulder strap. I don't, I would imagine you could probably extend it long enough to wear a crossbody too. It's inside, I just tucked it inside because I didn't use it. But it's, you know, secured on these, you know, these holes with grommets. So that seems, uh, you know, substantial, like it's gonna last. It's gonna wear well, theoretically. It's not plastic. The hardware is not plastic. So then on the front, if I'm shedding. <laughs> okay, it's already getting hot in here. Um, on the front, got this zipper pocket here. And these are all the new uh, plastic soft zippers that just look like metal. They're not the toothy metal zippers that are kind of painful. Um, and so there's just a pocket in here. It does have a small slip pocket. I'll see if I can show it within in this pocket. But in here I just have <laughs> uh, a zip ID Paisley Wave. Um, the lights, the soft lights are blowing out. That's not bad. Um, I got this for the jellyfish there. And I just have band-aids in here. Shout out to Brandra. Thank you. <laughs> I always have to shout out to Brandra talks about bags because she's the reason I decided to carry band-aids. It's like, why am I not carrying band-aids? <laughs> I'm klutzy. <laughs> I have accidents. Uh, uh, the middle size pouch from a cosmetic trio. I never remember the name of this. Oh, uh, nomadic flowers, maybe? Nomadic floral? I, I don't, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, I just have a um, copy of my COVID vaccination. A card in there and in the slip pocket that's in here I'll see if I can hold it up enough to show it I just have a gen zip ID in a sure thing I just keep like my dad's apartment keys and other related New York City trip stuff like the Metro card although I am in a subway forever and I have no no desire still to go into a subway here <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not crazy <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, in here, there is sort of a little, there you can sort of see it. This is a small slip pocket, and the Gen Zip ID fits in there perfectly, so uh, that's handy. These straps are not as slippery as like a seatbelt material, they're, they have more of a matte kind of cotton feel, so they stay, and they're tacked down where it would go over your shoulder. Uh, and I can slip this over my shoulder. That's how I carry it from the car to the house. And so that worked fine for me. And they stay on my shoulder good. And there's another compartment here, zipper compartment. And that's where I had like, you know, handbag type stuff that I might want to grab while I'm driving. So let's see it in there. Uh, hand sanitizer. And my uh, Carson cell phone crossbody from Fruit Grove. Uh, my phone's not in here right now, but it was in here, fit fine, pockets zip, zipped up fine. And I just gotta say, I really, I feel like this might be one of my favorite pattern combinations. I don't usually coordinate patterns at all. I just throw everything together. I don't care about matching. And uh, the more, the, the greater the number of patterns on me at any given time, the happier I am. But I really like Fruit Grove with cloud vine. I think they really complement each other and it has something to do with the um, the turquoise details in here because this pattern has a lot of like light sort of minty green aqua kind of turquoise colors in the flowers and the leaves and so really you know this pattern really picks that up well and there's something about these the, the, the rosy pinks and the kind of coral colors of the fruit then that sort of go well. I mean, I'm sure if you look at a color wheel or something, I'm always talking about the color wheel. I'm sure there's some kind of reason. There's a relationship there. I don't know if they're directly opposite each other on the wheel or something. So they're literal 
complementary colors or what, but it's just such a great, it really, they work really well together. So I was pleased with that. I have my checkbook also, Fruit Grove. Uh, I got a, oh, that's just car stuff. That's my, I think that's my insurance, my car insurance card stuff, because I, I don't want, if someone steals my car, I don't want them to get my papers. <laughs> Not the streets in New York City. I, I, and that's the only place I would take them out, take it out of the car, otherwise I'd just leave it in there. Uh, zip ID and best in show for my picture Duke. Oh, the light really is strong over there. This is a good southern, oh, it's, it's cloudy now, but uh, it's southern, it's southern light, so it, when it's sunny, it's good and strong. And the wide lanyard also, best in show. Love this thing. Uh, and my wallet, which is a turn lock in French Paisley. And this goes well, too, with this, because, again, there are a lot of touches of teal, you know, aqua kind of colors in here. So it, it gets picked up nicely when you put these two together. I got the, I got a bird. <laughs> uh, and there's nothing else in this pocket. <laughs> There's nothing else in there for organization. It's just an open, you know, pocket. No slip pockets in there. Then there's this other sort of large, narrow, but narrow pocket here. Um, this bag has sort of a narrow, like, width to it this way. Narrower than I usually have, I'm used to with bags that I put clothing into. And so I was thinking that I don't know if this will work for me for clothing. I would definitely have to fold things differently or think about putting my clothing in different than I usually do. So I'm not sure if I'll ever use it for clothing. I might, you know, I try it. But yeah, I tend to overpack, especially when I'm coming here this summer because, you know, he doesn't have air conditioning and I know there's going to be a lot of sweating going on. <laughs> I know it's not ladylike to say that, but there would be sweating going on. <laughs> um, Okay, so in this sort of narrow zipper pocket, I put, you know, since I wasn't taking my bureau tote, it was like, okay, what am I gonna, I'll take a smaller bag, since it's so hot to, to use if I walk around at all of my dad. And so I just got this recently on Amazon, good sale price, uh, mini Glenna, and also in Cloud Vine. It's funny because I ordered, when I ordered this, first of all, I feel like the mini Glenna, which I, I love, was available for like a minute, and then they pulled it as a style offering. So I don't know what that's about. I was very frustrated by that. I feel like they, it's very popular with a lot of Vera fans, and I, I feel like they didn't really give it a chance to catch on. Um, anyway, I found one on Amazon, but it said, in stock soon, you know, what order you could order now. So I ordered it, and I thought, well, this is not gonna show up for months probably. But it showed up pretty quick. And I thought, okay, well, they got a shipment in. I was just curious to see what they, you know, if the price was still the same or, or, you know, in the listing, whatever, and I couldn't find the listing anymore. So I thought that was weird. Like, what, they just ordered this one from some, I don't know where they would get it from. And then they couldn't get any more. I don't know. It's not listed on Amazon anymore, so I feel kind of lucky. And I just, you know, I, I used this yesterday. I went out with my dad, and I really liked it. Uh, let's see the pattern here. Just very... Um, Fresh. I just feel like it's very fresh. I love this, this flower. I love all the blues. I mean, I'm definitely a blue person, so I don't know why this didn't speak to me at first. In person, it is looking a little bit greener, just a little bit like minty green, but it's not overwhelmingly green. But I do see on my screen it's looking a little bit bluer. Just, just very, uh, very pleased with this. And, um, you know, it's got these two, I, I like people have asked me, uh, just recently someone asked me when I was talking about this, uh, shared a picture of this, how did I like it compared to the, I think it's like a mini multi-compartment cross by they have now, and I don't like that bag at all. It has these, it has a crossbody strap and it's got handles. The handles are too short. 
for me. The reason I like this bag is because I can slip it up on my shoulder very easily, even though these handles are short. And I do like that option. And yesterday I was carrying this as a shoulder bag. It also comes with a crossbody strap, which you know is how I tend to carry it, but I decided to try it as a shoulder strap, not with this, not with a crossbody strap, because when I shorten this to the shortest, it's still too long for me. But it was not enough for me to pack this because I am a big bag person. And I got, I started panicking. What if I want to walk around with a big bag? Like I feel naked if I don't have a big bag with me. <laughs> and so I shut this in here and that's what this, this pocket here was perfect for it. I couldn't, I mean, I probably could have forced it closed, but it wasn't necessary because I was just going in my car. You know, if I'd been going on an airplane or something, I might not have packed this way because I would have wanted to be able to close this. This is a large on the go in Hummingbird Park. Um, and I often, because I'm so, uh, particular about my strap drop lengths, um, sometimes I, I customize with this strap. Uh, this is the strap from the Carson Hobo in Indio. And this color is really versatile and you can see it picks up like the deep purplish kind of color in here. So it works well for this and my intention was to possibly use it with this. But yesterday, going out with my dad for brunch, I put it on this as a shoulder strap and used it, and it was great. I mean, it worked really well. Um, there is sort of a deep, very deep teal kind of color in these flowers. And so it kind of went with that. You know, it's not, maybe not the exact same color, but it looks super close, you know, so worked well. This is like a good, I mean, I know it's a bluish color, but it's like a good neutral in a way. It works with a lot of patterns. Um, okay, so then you get the main, let me go to the back, just get this over with. <laughs> On the back, there's another slim zipper compartment, and all these zipper compartments from the body, not the pocket ones, but the the top ones, they all have two, a double ribbon fold, which is nice. And it's this very pretty, there's one on here, it's just easier to pick this up. Is there one on, yeah. This, this ribbon color is so gorgeous, you know, it's such a pretty aqua color. It's like a perfect Caribbean water, you know, kind of blue color. So I love the ribbon folds on this pattern. And here's your a laptop compartment, like a laptop sleeve, and that's where I put my laptop. I'm filming with it now, so it's not in here, but fit in here fine. I didn't take another laptop sleeve, like a, a free, a free, loose and free one, freestanding, <laughs> like I usually do. I didn't need that. So it's just got this little Velcro tab. There is the foam. This is foam. No. And in here, I just have um, two work things, my clipboard folio, Rainforest Canopy and also Rainforest Canopy Planner, 18-month planner. I like this. I've shown this before, but I like this because the, the month calendar grids are very big, and so it gives me a lot of space to write all my work jobs down and keep track of them. So just that's my work stuff, my bigger work stuff. So then you get to the main compartment where I just have a whole bunch of your stuffed in there. There's one big zipper pocket on one wall of the bag and two mesh slip pockets that are sort of elasticized on the other wall of the bag. Let's see if I can show that. So I have my a wristlet in Rainforest Canopy where I still have some masks and gloves and stuff in case I need it. Occasionally you still want something like that. I mean here you still have to wear stuff going into some stores. And sometimes I just like to wear it depending on the circumstances. <laughs> and also to be considerate, not everyone is vaccinated or able to get vaccinated. I've mentioned in another video, my neighbor's wife is severe. She has, I don't remember what condition she has, but she has a medical condition. It's very unfortunate. It's like some kind of autoimmune disease and she cannot get vaccines. Her body cannot tolerate vaccines. So she's very compromised and very vulnerable. So sometimes you don't, you don't know who you're dealing with. Sometimes you want to be considerate. Got the little bird there. I like this one with the fan palm. That's kind of nice. Love that pattern. Um, 
Another variation of that pattern, this is the New Hope Girls uh, collaboration, the Rainforest Canopy Navy zip pouch. You just have work pens and post-it notes and things like that um, in here. And a bird and a monkey. Another monkey on the back and that great leaf. It was a great, great leaf there. And another fan, like a fan palm. I love anything tropical. I have videos on this. I could try to put some links to some videos if I remember. <laughs> I don't always remember. I just, in my videos, I always say stuff. I'm going to do stuff, and then I realize, oh, God, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't follow through. <laughs> um, the mind is the first thing to go. <laughs> and then stuff starts sagging. <laughs> um, again, no, it's not for sissies, as Betty Davis said. The Fruit Grove, I think this was a Travel Takes like mini jewelry case. I just have my uh, Easy Pass in there. The mini Dome, I wish they would still make this. I don't know why they stopped making this. I know a lot of Vera ladies who love this. Uh, this is Floating Garden, very handy. Plastic line, which is nice. I have lip balm and like tissues and stuff in there. And this is like, a lot of this is stuff I would like the, the easy pass and this would be in my regular, I do carry this stuff every day in my Vera tote. So this accommodated all the stuff plus my work, all the Vera tote stuff plus my work, uh, my, my work stuff and more and more. <laughs> um, I did take a, an alternate um, wallet because of the mini Glenna was small. I mean, I can fit the turn lock in the mini Glenna, but sometimes you want, it does take up a lot. It's a space hog. And so sometimes you want a little bit more space, and so I just grabbed the Riley. This was, I have a bunch of Rileys. I do like this wallet. And this was the only one I could get to easily in my closet, so it was the one I ended up with. <laughs> my closet is like that episode of Friends when Chandler comes upon the locked closet in Monica's apartment and he busts the lock open and it's all her mess. That's where she keeps her secret mess, and the whole thing just comes falling down. That's my closet, only Vera. <laughs> so this was the only Riley I could find without, you know, a major fight with my stuff. And this is Cat's Meow. This was a really good deal. I got this on a resale site, new with tags. $32 for this and two other wallets, which I think I were in really bad shape and I might have thrown one out and resold the other one or donated the other one. There was one that was really grimy. And I knew going in it was going to be grimy. I could see from the pictures. I mean, the woman was not scamming people. But I couldn't believe she was letting this go for 32. I mean, it really made me wonder if she really knew what she had. I mean, people know what the resale prices are in Cats and Meow. So, anyway, I like this wallet. And it works well in the Mini Glenna. It's a safe space, so it works nicely. And I have, oh, this is not Vera. Some exercise stuff in there. Um, the Butterfly by Coin Purse. I just have earphones in here. I'm so glad to see that they're making the Coin Purse. You know, I feel like so every now and then there'll be a pattern it doesn't come out in, and then I start to panic. I, I, I do hear a panic. <laughs> and I think, oh my God, they're not going to make a Coin Purse anymore. Uh, a mini cosmetic pouch, Hummingbird Park. And a bird. There's a bird in the back. Uh, a little cut off one on top somewhere. I just have like snack bars, snack bars in here. And this is plastic line, which is nice. I just have some snack bars. It's all about the birds for me with Hummingbird Park, as people probably know, I'm a critter lady, crazy critter lady. This is something I, I wanted to try and got, uh, finally got. This is the uh, Zip Around Jewelry Folio. And I wanted to try it because I liked the, well, I like that it flips you know, I'll open it, but the top flips and lies flat, which I always like. But it has some, you know, depth to it here, so I could put actual jewelry boxes in there, which I, I sometimes like to do. I like to travel with my jewelry in its original box. I don't know why. You know, there's, there's no logic here. <laughs> anyway, got the bird. I also do love this lavender. I've always loved this lavender part of the uh, pattern. Love those flowers there. The lavender and the little yellow detail in the center. And of course that works color-wise because purple and yellow are opposite on the color wheel, opposite each other, so they complement each other. 
So in here, I just stuck my uh, baby G, threaded it through some of these straps. Uh, I watch, and I have my wedding regular wedding band on one of these ring things. Um, so it's got these, you know, uh, all of these unsnap up top here, and then there's a zipper pocket here. There's also this zipper pocket and uh, an elasticized slip pocket here with some narrow ones back here, probably, and some tabs up here, all of which unsnap. I would imagine this to thread necklaces with pendant, pendants. You know, if anything's hanging from your chain, you know, you slip it into these pockets. Um, all of the pockets, all of them, lined in this sort of chamois cloth, so that's good. So I do have a, a jewelry box, one jewelry box sort of just shoved in there, um, just to keep it from flying around. I did have something else in here. Oh, it's in here, right. Uh, mini Kiss in Bordeaux Blooms. And this I travel with, um, I always travel with one of these for my rings that I wear every day, because it's just nice to have, you know, be able to take them off and have somewhere quick to put them, like on a, I leave this out on a tabletop or whatever, and then I can take my rings off, you know, um, and just leave them in this. I don't have to get this whole thing out or whatever. So there's that. Might as well leave that out. <laughs> so yeah, that. Very happy with that. And since this was made, you know, I, I, I haven't compared. I haven't compared because I think this comes has come out in Butterfly By, but my guess would be that the Butterfly Buy one doesn't have piping. This still has piping, which is nice. But the Butterfly Buy, which is a recycled cotton, I mean, they've been doing away with the piping, which is a, a problem for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, also another, this would have been something in my Vera Tote, um, mini uh, cosmetic pouch and dragon fruit floral, just my um, GPS. And then I come to these. These, I love these. I can't get enough of these. These are, this is the cord organizer. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm going to sound like Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct when she's being interviewed by the cops. And they ask her about the silk scarf, and she says she has a fondness for white silk scarves are good for all occasions. <laughs> and she goes off and she kills people. <laughs> and you never know, it's hot enough here that might happen. <laughs> but that's how I feel about the cord organizer. Good for all occasions. I can't get enough of these. And um, I feel like what's starting to happen with me with them is the same thing that happens with the Carson cell phone crossbody where I just have a slew of them because they're so handy. So this one I did have, oh, my iPad's charging over there, but my, I, I have my iPad mini in here slips right in with room to spare. Kind of flops around because it's not really a tablet case, but it's great. I love it for that when I'm traveling and I want more protection around my iPad. And it's, I'll show it in the other one because it's probably easier to see because the lining is dark here, but it's got organization stuff inside. I love this. This is French paisley. Some birds there. Bird on the back, too. White one there. Very pretty pattern. Very girly pattern. Very feminine. And then I got this. 50% off, so I went for it. This is Herbology. People probably know the latest. Um, Harry Potter pattern, and I I think this pattern is ugly. I mean, it is it's fugly. <laughs> but I I get such a this this crabby looking mandrake just cracks me up. And so because it was you know fifty percent off, I said okay I'll go for it as the cord organizer. What I do, I, you know, my my beef with the patterns, the Harry Potter patterns, I think, is that I just want them to be a little prettier. They're just not pretty, and I think that has to do with the color scheme. Uh, they're a little manly, a little masculine in the color schemes, and also, you know, this. Yeah, it's probably the color scheme. So sometimes it's the rendering. I mean, because the mandrake does look kind of icky a little bit, but he just he just cracks me up, and so. Since it was, you know, half off, I thought, okay, and it's an item that I use and I like. So in here, I've got all cords. You know, I've got my laptop battery, and the cord is in there, and there's uh, another charger cord and plug and everything in there, and I had yet another one that's, that is plugged into the wall, and they all fit in there fine, along with a cloth that I use to 
you know, like wipe down fingerprints and stuff. So just to show the organization in here, it's got two elasticized slip pockets there, different size. You know, they're not, it's not tacked down in the center. So there's some difference in the size. Now on this side, there's a zip pocket with a slip pocket behind. There's a snap tab there, loop, like a loop. And some elastic tack down, so you get sort of like elastic loops there to contain things. So it's really, it's handy, you know, zips around, and it's gusset on the side. This, this pattern, the lining pattern, is kind of more appealing to me. I think this was sort of the reactive version, too, because this really looks like botanical prints, you know, botanical illustrations and how they're drawn, you know. So I do like that. So again, the grabby mandrake. <laughs> I mean, I, I know a little bit about Harry Potter. I'm not a huge fan, so um, for me, that. The fact that it's, you know, uh, uh, characters or things from the story, you know, not so important to me. I, uh, eyeglass case in Rainforest Canopy. And so here, there's a big zipper pocket and on the other wall too, same size, mesh slip pockets. And I have, this is just uh, the plastic from the bag. I don't know why I still have that in there. And uh, the strap, the shoulder strap, the detachable shoulder strap, and a uh, packable tote, Penelope's Garden from the factory outlet store, just in case I needed it and we were out, if I'm out with my dad. I just feel like it's handy to have. So that was that. Very pleased with how this worked out for me. God, it's hot in here. <laughs> it's hot sitting under a bag. Uh, I have a ditty bag in Best in Show. I just keep my dog's leashes in here. I bring them into the kennel before I hit the road. They don't want their leashes and harnesses, so they use their own stuff. And the ditty bag works well for that. This is plastic lined. So then for my clothing, I want something different. I mean, I've had this bag for a while, but I haven't really used it that much. This is the packable duffel, and this is uh, Scattered Super Bloom, one of my favorite Vera patterns. I wish they would put this in the custom pattern offering and cotton. I would do a tote in this so fast. I might even do a regular duffel in it. I think it's gorgeous. I have videos from a long time ago about this. Um, so this folds up in, on, into itself and, and folds into this sort of pouch pocket, sort of folds down, flip it inside out. It's a whole rigmarole process, and I need the instructions, which I don't have on me. <laughs> anyway, in here I just have one of the packing cubes. I think this was the small one, and I, I am using the other one back behind me. You can't see it. There it is. <laughs> uh, with some dirty laundry in there. And the middle one is in here. I'll get to it. So it's got two slip pockets on either end. Big, generous, just slip pockets. The straps are a slippery seatbelt material. That's my only problem with this because the, the outer one will always slip off my shoulder, but I wasn't going that far, so it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, it's just going from my car to the house and the apartment, whatever. And it's got a zipper pocket here. I don't have anything in there. And so it does, there's no crossbody shoulder strap. These are the only straps. Um, does, you know, you know, listening to it, I'm sure, and seeing it, you think it looks, seems kind of flimsy. And it does feel kind of flimsy, but I have it packed up, and it held up. But I would be careful, you know, especially at like a join like that, not pulling too much. I want to tear, uh, not weighting it up too much. This is just basically all my clothing, plus my knitting, which I just plonked down on top. Uh, drawstring back sack in uh, Rainforest Canopy Coral for my knitting. It just works really well for my knitting. Uh, I'm really liking this for, for knitting, for traveling with it, but also I leave it like this in my house. It's just working out great for me. Uh, the other, the middle size packing cube, I just have my, what I would say, my unmentionables. <laughs> and here are my bras and underwear, you know, because God forbid I'm on the turnpike, I get into an accident, I don't want my bras all over the highway. Like I said, not really logical. <laughs> 
Wow, there's some logic in that. Oh my God, so hot. I feel like I should put my hair up. When you have as much thick hair as I do, it just adds to the heat. It really retains heat. People always ask me, why don't I wear my hair down more? This is why. It's so god awful hot. Uh, another ditty bag. This is Bon Bon Medallion. I just have a spare pair of flip flops in here. You can really see that medallion there. That's a nice piece of the fabric to get. I really um, sort of changed my, my feeling about the ditty bags has changed a little bit because I went recently with my husband to the beach for, the, for, a, for a day, just for the day. And we were sitting there, and it was hot, and then we went to this nearby restaurant, and I didn't want to take my big, big beach bag I was lugging. I had this in it just in case I needed to put something wet in there, because it's lined with plastic. And I decided to use this as my shoulder bag. And so he threw his car keys and wallet, and I put other stuff in there. And I just carry, cinched it and carried it, you know, over my shoulder like this. Worked so great. Really great for that kind of setting and situation. Um, so definitely, I think I'm kind of more into the ditty bags now than I used to be. So I've got, there's not much in here, just my clothing, so I, I won't go through everything in here. The only other beer thing I have in here is this, that it brought blush and brush <laughs> in Cat's Meow. This I lucked out and got an, uh, a while back in an online outlet sale when they, one or two online outlet sales that had some Cat's Meow stuff. Just very few items and I managed to get this. So that was a lucky thing. I feel like the online outlet sales, you don't find as good like finds anymore. But um, I do like this item and uh, love cats meow. They should put that in the custom section so people can do more stuff with it. Or put spooky cats in there. Don't even get me. I just can't get started on that. I get so angry. <laughs> anyway, in here I have this. I never remember what this is called. Something like a zip around brush case. Small brush case. This is what is this? Merry Mischief. I love this thing. I always say I love this thing because it's got these two sections that zip and sort of flip open. And it's so nice. It's got some bands in there for makeup tubes and a slip pocket in there. It's got my comb, mirror. And I like the depth of it, but it's not too big. Um, and in here I can fit like lip balm and lip gloss tubs and hair clips and stuff because it has some depth to it, you know, because of the zipper pocket there. So, and it fits right on top of my stuff in here, and zip still zip this, I can still zip this up easily, so I like that. And then I just have some stuff in here, my, my stuff is in here, but I have two, the last of the Vera, two um, travel pillowcases, this is Seawater Blooms, this is Performance Tool, I just have like uh, nail clippers and things in there. Manicure scissors, you know, metal clunky things, and anchors away. Uh, got it for that, even though it's on the bottom. <laughs> I just have vitamins in here, which I forgot to take. Um, so that's it, I think. Everything else you can see, I'll just hold it up, but I'm not going to unpack it all. But I just have my clothing in piles that I plunk down in there, and it works fine. Anyway, so that's it. Uh, breaking a sweat now it is so hot. <laughs> Um, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll get this loaded up, and then next week, after I get my latest huge job out, I'll be able to maybe do a, one or two other videos with some new stuff. That's what I'm hoping. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.